Alright, I thought I'd show you guys today on one of the biggest questions I get asked around the internet or by my friends that I know in school and are into computers as well is how to get Ubuntu or Ubuntu or however the hell you pronounce it the Linux and get it onto your uh, PC but first you want to download the ISO the first thing you want to do is go to Ubuntu.com that is U-B-U-T or U B untu dot com and then this should come up and as you can see version 9.10 is coming soon but the one I'm gonna stick in here because right, I've downloaded one a while ago because this does take a little bit to download you're downloading a whole, a whole operating system so it's gonna take a little bit I have 9.04 with me on the CD but you wanna go over here and see where it says get Ubuntu and it says download Ubuntu now for free. Request a CD or buy it on DVD or CD. So just click the little download link right here. And where it says now you choose what you need. Uh, I'm gonna you probably are gonna most want to get is desktop edition. Uh, there is the netbook remix. This is for if you have a netbook and you want to put it on there. And then there's the server edition. But I'm gonna go with the desktop edition. And you're probably going to want to pick 9.04 desktop, and I guess 9.04 is still latest. But, um, if you want 8.04, that's fine, but I really suggest 9.04 because it's quite a lot better, especially with the Wi Fi hardware. Um, in 8.04, I could not get my Wi Fi device working for the love of God. It hated it beyond all reasons, and it just works simply in 9.04. It just works. And then you gotta choose a download location that's probably nearest to you. So, where would be one? Optus. Inet. You know, I'm gonna go with Optus. Um, but, you know, if you live in the US, um, they have ones right here. Um, you know, wherever's next. A lot of these are, um, you know, universities. Um, TDS Internet Services. That's what I used to have. That's what I probably would give. But we're gonna go with Optus in this one, and then you just choose the one that's closest to you, and then click Begin Download. Or and then you also want to choose the um, if you want the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. I'm gonna. I always went to 32-bit version because it, my uh, hardware, Wi-Fi hardware, it does only works with 32-bit. And then you want to click the uh, da Begin Download and it should come up and you get this um, you don't have to have um, WinRAR to open the ISO it is an ISO or format so it will work with that and it, WinRAR works with that and you just want to click OK I'm not going to because um, I downloaded it already but after that you need something to record it on to a CD and you want to go to infrarecorder.org but um you can find that at let's see. I cannot type today. But um if you Google it, it should come up here. Infra Infra Recorder. And then it should say infrarecorder.org, welcome, blah blah blah. It was already here. You wanna go here and click downloads in the pages and the installer for Windows and if you got Windows 2000 XP Vista and this will work for 7 as well I've used it on 7 it's for the uh, I believe the 64-bit versions and then the zip archives and all that you just want this here and it should take you to sourceforge.net yep all that crap and you want to install it now I actually I do need that what did I do that for? there it is downloads install a save file and it should download and my computer wants to be ejected today pause alright I finished installing info recorder here and if my luck with info recorder is about 90 percent I've had like one time where I burned an image to a CD and it didn't work um, when I popped it into the computer, um, but over 90% of times it works perfect. So you just want to open it up here, and you can either go to the Actions menu and Burn Image, 
um, or you can just uh, write image whatever is nice for you and then you find in your browser or wherever on your computer you saved the ISO image so when you downloaded this thing here and if it came up in Ubuntu you can like I believe right click and see where it's saved or, or, or actually yeah it should come up or you just click save file when you doing this with Ubuntu and you save it to your documents or wherever you want to save it and oops you click it in here, you click open, all the settings, default settings on there should be fine, you click the burn button and you let it burn onto a CDR. You don't need a DVD, uh, the file is small enough to put onto a CD. So after that's done, it'll take a little bit, you just want to open your CD drive, which I have disk in there, I'll take out the Ubuntu 9.04 disk thingy. Now this depends on what you want to do with your Ubuntu. If you want to completely erase um, your Windows or put it on a brand new computer, you need to re you know we need to turn on your computer. If it has no operating system on it already, turn on the computer um, and s go into BIOS mode and s make sure you switch it to boot. Um, boot in the CD first and then you can just go in as if you were installing Windows um, and if you're gonna do it like I want to do I want to have it a partition on here um, as when I turn on my computer I want it to have uh, Windows or uh, Ubuntu here you want to just stick it in while you got Windows open I find this is the easiest and then this should come up and you want to click install inside Windows and this is uh, maybe uh, familiar if you uh, have ever used uh, Whatever the heck it's called. I forget what it's called now. Wooby. Wooby is what it's called. I don't need that. Wooby. The Wooby installer. Which is similar to this. You get this dialog box and then it downloads Ubuntu right there and it installs it. This is just already downloaded. It's on a CD. You can choose how much you want to use for Ubuntu here. Usually I say like 20 gigs or whatever. The desktop environment is only going to be Ubuntu. Your um, language and then your username and your password and then you want to click install but I'm not going to do that at the time being so then you click install um, then, oops sorry there that's basically how you install Ubuntu how you get Ubuntu onto a CD and whatnot and install it and if you have any more questions, you can email me or put the uh, a comment in the blog post that I will post this video on. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, just on the right side of the video, there's a video description. And just hit the link. It will link right to the blog post with this video. In that blog post, there will be all the links, all the uh, screenshots you need to see how and all the help. And you can post comments. And if you need any help... Uh, I believe it's support at uonpictures.com or uh, contact at uonpictures.com is what you can email me at for any other help. Thanks. For